Departing at the first glimpse of daylight, Shuzu lugged Craven's corpse to Ryoza city gates where Kubrick's associate, Melnick, along with a slew of priests, were waiting with open arms. Wasting no time, they rushed to the town chapel where the revivification ritual would be performed. Congeries of candles created a sparkling backdrop to an otherwise gloomy chamber, and as they laid Craven's corpse upon the stone table, the priest turned to Shuzu with an outstretched hand. Desperate, the bard emptied his pack of the party's meager collective wealth to purchase a flawless diamond, because magic ain't free. Then, with hushed voices and hopeful winds winding through the room, the priests prayed. Before too long, a bright light shot out, extinguishing the dancing flames, but reigniting an old one. As Craven, visibly shaken, arose from his slumber, the clerics looked on in awe. And Shuzug, as always, was an unshaken pillar of heroism. As the priests began to leave, the two heroes embraced. But their heroic triumvirate was still incomplete. So they'd soon need to reunite with Kubrick, who was waiting with bated breath to hear the news.